Hello fellow guitar geeks, today I'm taking a look at the Stone Age fuzz from Thermion. Actually it's not really fair to call it a fuzz, it's four fuzzes in one pedal. Some of you might be asking, do we need another fuzz pedal? Well the answer to that is always, absolutely, 100% yes! It's a big pedal isn't it? It's obviously not that big, but it is about as big as two tube screamers, so there's that. Um, during this video, I'm going to be running through the Fender Deluxe Reverb, through some vintage V30s, and through the Captor X from Two Notes. I'll also use the SV20 from Marshall for some plexi, plexi tones. Now I'll explain how the pedal works and give you the story of the Stone Age fuzz in a moment. I thought we'd jump straight to the top five tones. This time, a little bit different, because Thermion give you a manual with some suggested settings. And I'm going to use this as a guideline on what Thermion think the pedal should sound like. And then in the rest of the video, we'll make it up ourselves and create some tones that we like. Or rather, I like, and I'm deciding for us. I hope that's okay. Okay, so clean tone first, and then my top five tones from the Stone Age Fuzz. Yeah! I've not broken a string in a long, long time, so I will start that again with a different guitar. Sorry, 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 Valiant Guitars. <laughs> Damn, that is good. Normally I don't talk in the top five tones, but I'm going to start reacting to the tones that I'm making. That is phenomenal. I love how clean that is, and we'll go into why that's clean in a moment, but number four. Number four, which is also suggested by Thermion. Okay, that's that battery dying kind of fuzz. Nice, I think I need some more experimentation with this. Let's move on to the number three, which is the fuzz face setting. <laughs> Okay, those are the four suggestions from Thermion, and I obviously switched guitar to the guitar that I thought was most valid to that musical style. I've got one more left, so it's time for me to make one, which I'm going to randomly just mess around with the pedal and find a tone that I think is cool. I don't think I could have a favourite tone from this pedal because there's so much going on, but that was after five, I don't know how many minutes that was of messing around almost blindly, um, I got somewhere I wanted to be with a riff that I wanted to play. Okay, let's move on to explain the knobs, switches, tones and capabilities of the Stone Age Fuzz. 
Even though the Stone Age Fuzz has plenty of knobs and switches on board, it's fairly straightforward because they're all single function knobs. So it's not as if you turn that and then this does something different in that mode. It, everything does the same thing regardless of which mode you're in. Speaking of modes, let's talk about this, the Fuzz Engine Selector Switch, which is a very fun name for a switch. This is the single transistor mode, that's the maestro mode, the fuzz face mode, and Thermion's take on the big muff. So first you choose which style of fuzz circuit you want, and then the rest of the knobs and switches can change that particular fuzz. There are no presets, everything's on board. Down below the fuzz engine selector, we've got the gain, so less gain, more gain. Then skipping this section for a moment, we've got the volume of the pedal, master volume. Over to the left, we've got the low cut, so the more you turn that up, the more lows are cut out of your signal. And then the high cut, the more you turn that up, the more high frequencies are chopped off. And here, whether the EQ switch is set to in or out tells you whether the EQ setting is turned on or off. So out means that the EQ setting is off, so these do nothing. In means that the EQ setting is engaged. It's in the circuit or it's out of the circuit. That's why it says in or out. Right, back over to here, we've got the octave mix. So this is how much of the octave is mixed in with your original signal. But that's linked down to here, because if you have the octave switched uh, on, then that, that's, that knob comes into play, into the circuit. If you have it switched off, this does nothing. Um, then the clean mix does exactly the same, except for your clean signal, which I think is the secret source of this pedal. So you can have uh, no clean signal mixed in, and turn that on or off if you want, and then gradually mix in that clean signal, giving you something that is a mix between clean and fuzz with gain. And then of course, here's your bypass switch. There's the in, there's the out. Here's nine volts in, and it needs a, at least 200 milliamps. Quite a lot of info there, so let's do the same thing with the guitar so we can actually hear the differences in the sound. I've set the, uh, set the EQ off at the moment. I've set the octave mix and the clean mix in the middle, even though they're turned off, and gains in the middle. This is the clean. <laughs> We'll just go through the different fuzzes at the moment with everything set like that so you can hear the differences between the circuits. Let's go back to the single transistor circuit and uh, I'll play around with the clean mix. So this is with no clean. So it's, that's not quite the same as having the pedal off. does sound great though. Um, let's take that down a little bit. And let's say we wanted to cut off some of the highs. Let's put that on. In fact, I'll do a loop so you can hear the difference for sure. I'll do something power chordy.
So by using that EQ, you can kind of filter out stuff like for a for a breakdown if you want. But um, bringing that clean in, that's definitely the secret sauce of the pedal because if you want something to regain some clarity, you can add the clean and adding that octave makes it even more gnarly. I'll do the same thing um, with the Maestro Fuzz. So let's go to the Maestro Fuzz circuit. I'll set that back to roughly where it was and that all the way down. Let's hear the same thing on the Maestro circuit. <laughs> Um, now the same thing on the fuzz face circuit. Okay, that's on the fuzz face, which is not my favorite, but there are some broken moments in there. If you if you kick off the clean, and when you play, it really does react um, to to the to the circuit. So it, it doesn't break up that much, but when I was playing the top five tones, it seemed to really react to the guitar. I'm obviously doing something different. Let's do the loop on the Thermion take on the Big Muff. That one's really reactive to that high cut, uh, high cut EQ filter. The Big Muff circuit is quite noisy. Even at lower gain, the Big Muff circuit is fairly noisy. Obviously not useful live because you'd have to switch that live. But if you're recording, nice. You would find that EQ setting very useful in a band situation when if you're playing something doomy and low, then you can cut those low frequencies just to make sure that your guitar is not fighting with the bass. So 
I'll get something that's drop tuned and try that with that low filter. Chapman ML3 Modern. Let's imagine you're playing something thick and meaty. <laughs> Okay, the pedal just really came alive in that big muff mode then. Okay, I should have been using this in that big muff mode earlier. That's a killer sound. Um, yeah, that's, so we're doing something thick and meaty, and we want to make sure that we don't get involved with the bass frequencies that the bass guitarist is playing. So we engage our low cuts. <laughs> It might not sound as thick and full on its own, but in a band mix, that knob there is going to make your band sound better. Okay, let's go for the clean, which could even help clean that up a little bit more. Drop C riffs. <laughs> Alrighty, that muff might be a little bit noisy, but it's noisy in a good way. That's, that's a killer sound. I know there are gonna, there's gonna be at least one person who really doesn't enjoy that sound, and that person needs to love fuzz a little bit more. You know who you are. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, this pedal is coming alive with this drop C stuff. I need to put it, I need to put it in the other sound, sounds and see what it sounds like in the other, uh, other fuzzes. I'm losing the will to speak. <laughs> That's what I was talking about, the, the pedal having the battery, sort of low battery sagging stuff going on. It's the maestro that's doing it. So it's blooming. As I'm hitting it hard, it's going, ah, and then and coming back down again. So, or rather going down and coming back up again, I should say. Listen to the, to the volume. Okay, so used in the, I don't want to say correct way, but used in a creative way, that's very cool. Let's do the fuzz face. Let's turn it up. Okay, when I'm doing that, you can hear that clean coming through. Have a listen. So I said at the beginning, this is quite a simple pedal, but it isn't. It's delivering more the more I'm playing it. So I feel like I kind of underplayed how good this pedal is at the beginning of the video. So I hope you're still here watching because uh, now I'm getting super, super excited. I've done the muff already. Drop C, this thing is a beast. If you play in any drop tunings, you need the Stone Age fuzz. That's probably what I should have been doing from the start because it's called the Stone Age. Queens? I feel really stupid right now. 
feel really stupid. I feel unbelievably dumb now that I didn't pick up on the fact that this is called the Stone Age Fuzz. Thermion, I'm deeply sorry. Um, but not that sorry, because I've had fun doing other stuff, and now I've realised that I should be playing Queens of the Stone Age and, and Caius and Eagles of Death Metal, maybe. Darn it. As it's a fuzz, one thing I need to do is see how it reacts to backing off the volume of the guitar. So for that, I'm going to use a Stratocaster. So I'm going to put it on the fuzz face mode. I'm going to take the gain to somewhere that's quite fuzzy. Take the EQ out, take the clean blend off, take the octave off. So we've just got this. Uh... Okay, neck pickup. Then we've got um, just backing off the volume. Quite bitey. Backing off to about eight. That's really nice on the first face that I would expect it to clean up on. Let's put it on the single transistor. Drop in volume, Bastro. Serious drop in volume, which you can of course compensate with the, the volume. So the fuzz face circuit does a great job because it's doing what a fuzz face circuit would do, and that's that's clean up really nicely. Super broken on that, okay. Uh, might need some clean mixing with this. All right, there's some tones there. So I've said in this video that I should have played it with a dropped C guitar more. Now I'm playing it with a Strat, um, it kind of, it, it's a different beast. I mean, I've played more guitars with this pedal than I think any other pedal video I've ever done. Normally I, I tend to stick to one, two, maybe three at tops, but I've played, oh, I feel like I've played more. I certainly feel more. Maybe that's because, because the pedal is more. There's four fuzzes in it. All right. The next thing I need to do is put it through the Marshall SV20 to see how it sounds with a Plexi amp, because so far you've been hearing it through the Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is very, very clean. Now I want to see how it reacts to a good old British Marshall. Okay, I've switched guitar to the Fireman, the FRM 300, Paul Gilbert signature, with the Marshall SV20. This is what it sounds like. Clean. Uh, let's start with the single transistor. Noisy! Wow, 
On that, it sounds like a jet fuzz. The jet phaser fuzz. You know those old jet phaser fuzzes? You know those ones. Um, that's cracking. And I can make a whole other video just with the Marshall and this guitar and the Stone Age pedal. Wow. But I need to move on. I can't fit all of this in one video. There's so much to give. I would be quite happy to sit here for at least another hour and play with this pedal on a video, but I don't think that's the most valuable spending of your time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the pedal, have a look inside, see what's making it tick, and then put it back together, and I'll give you my two cents final thoughts on the review. It's time to flex my drill, because I'm very proud of this drill. The drill doesn't yet have a name. I feel it should have a name with googly eyes and stuff. So if you have an idea what the drill could be called, let me know. Are you ready? Okay, moment of truth. What's going on inside this beast? Loads of stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, so sometimes you open up pedals and you see lots of cables and wires and everything. This is not that. Look at all that stuff going on. So it says Stone Age version 2 there. Proudly made in Spain. Thermion.eu. Oh, a modern reinterpretation of classic fuzz tones with modern features and tonal consistency. I agree. It's absolutely cons uh, tonally consistent to the point where you really have to tweak some of the stuff to make sure that you're actually making a difference. But that's not understanding the pedal in any way. It's just that it is not... If you, diff if you definitely put... Slow down, Andy. If you put a fuzz face next to a big muff, you would get two very different volume levels. And what the Thermion Stone Age is doing is definitely rounding out those volumes and giving you something that's very functional. So what some of you might be thinking as, uh, well, that doesn't sound very different, or that's all kind of the same. It's not. It's just controlled. It's unified. It's it's a family. It's, it's put into one unit, and that is really, really hard to do. So um, I, I don't really want to open the other side of that, but I can tell you that that is a very tidy job. Is there any, any more secrets? No. But yeah, I, I, I like this just here. I've got this little um, evolution of man. Or, or ape, or person, I don't know, 2022. Evolution of biped. I'll take my feet out of my mouth and I'll put it back together and we can do the final review. Honestly, I find it hard to sum up the Stone Age fuzz because it's actually like doing four pedals in one video because it is a four fuzz pedal. I guess the biggest bonus here is that those four fuzz pedals are um, are leveled almost, you know? So as I said earlier, like if you put a, a fuzz face next to a big muff, you're going to have issues of volume and volume drop and also just the general setup. You've got to be quite careful with fuzz pedals. So having all of them in one box is an absolute advantage, except if you want to use more than one at the same time, which that would be insane, right? I love the EQ section and the fact that you can turn it on and off rather than just a single tone. That's a big advantage. I love the fact that you can turn the octave on or off and add that octave to fuzzes that wouldn't normally have an octave. So the fuzz face octave sounds amazing, for example. The maestro, fuzz, uh, maestro with octave sounds amazing. And the big muff sounds amazing with the octave, as does the... It all sounds amazing with the octave. It's nice to have it there and also be able to blend it in and turn it off. However, the most standout feature for the Stone Age fuzz for me is the clean blend. Because yes, you can have a mix, certainly, but the fact that you can turn it off or on mid-song, mid-solo, um, whatever, mid-recording, mid yeah, I don't know if you would, but what I mean is if you could, like, if you had a heavier section, but then you needed to clean it up for a, a verse, for example, you just kick in that clean blend and you end up a little bit cleaner. Or like all the way, you could completely go clean, almost completely clean. For live, it's clean enough for rock and roll. But also, the clean blend doesn't just blend in clean, it gives you clarity, it gives you body. Um, it, it's not just, I want the tone a little bit cleaner. It is a tone adjuster, a tone changer. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that the Stone Age fuzz is more than just one pedal. It's an odyssey of effects, and it's all in one box. I don't think I've ever dived this deep into a fuzz pedal because 
normally I can get the sort of sweet spot, so I can get several sweet spots. Or like the boss F said, one W. That's two fuzzes in one, but it's just good all the way around and very predictable. This, the fuzz types in the fuzz engine selector, um, just they're very, very uh, different. Graphically, it's very pleasing. Build quality is absolutely A1. All these switches, these foot switches, for example, they're clickies, but they're not super cheap clickies that you, you might get in, say, like a budget pedal. These are quality clicky foot stomps, and I, I am fairly certain I'd, I'd eat my hat if you managed to break one of those easily. I'm not wearing a hat. Also, the same can be said about the switches and the knobs. Everything, build quality-wise, is, is really, really good. Which leads me on to the price. To buy this direct from Thermion costs 235 euros. So if you live outside of the EU or you buy from someone else, then it might cost a little bit more, might cost a little bit less, I don't know. But 235 euros for four fuzz pedals. Let's round that up to 240, which means each fuzz pedal is costing you 60 euros, which is definitely in budget fuzz territory. Not super budget, but anything sub 100 is budget fuzz territory, in my opinion. You can't get a Dunlop fuzz for 60 euros for the fuzz face. You can get a Big Muff for around that price. Yeah. Okay. You'd be pushing it to get four fuzzes, four good fuzzes, for 235 euros. So if you look at it that way, you're kind of saving money by spending money. I know that this is all in one box and you can't use more than one fuzz at one time, but as fun as it sounds, I don't think many people will be using more than one fuzz at any time. Also, you've got the octave and everything, and you've got the clean blend, which you'd have to add some kind of parallel mixer for adding to your price. It is quite a big pedal, but as we had a look inside, everything seems to be packed in there super, super tight. So there doesn't seem to be much room for having different circuits. I was expecting something a little bit more with the components being a bit bigger and everything being on different circuits, but this all seems to be I don't know if you can hear the wind, by the way. It's super windy today. We're having a storm. Um, everything seems to be packed in there super tight. So that's basically as small as you're going to get it, I think. I guess the main question is, who is the Stone Age fuzz pedal for? I don't think it's for the traditional blues guy. It could be for the doomy fuzzy sludgy people. Absolutely could be. But it could also be if, if you want one analog fuzz on your board, this could be the one to go for. The Animalizer is the best Big Muff pedal I've ever played. Um, that's phenomenal, but it only does Big Muff. This one gives you a Big Muff, which is not as versatile as the Animalizer, but it is a Big Muff. You're also getting the Fuzz Face, the Maestro, and the Single Transistor. So I think if you need an analog fuzz on your board, this is one to seriously consider. Or maybe one of the sounds that I've got in this video has piqued your interest and therefore you need it. So for the drop C stuff, phenomenal pedal, absolutely phenomenal and priced correctly. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the video, which means you've made it to the end of the video club. And to prove that you are a member of this club that is so elite, please, when you leave your comment telling me what you think about the Stone Age fuzz, please also include the phrase fuzz cow and octave moose. That lets me know that you've seen this part and Octave Moose and Fuzz Cow could be the world's greatest crime fighting duo that it needs to be. I hope you enjoyed this little fuzz adventure. Thanks for watching and thanks to Thermion for sending out the pedal for review. I'll see you uh, in one of these videos or indeed in the future if you click the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. We'll be best buddies. Okay, bye.